What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So excited because we got yet another Gymshark haul. I've been getting questions all up and down about the new training collection, combat, like all that new good stuff. So you're allowed to pick some up so I can share it with you guys. So this is just a haul video and brief try on. The main focus of this video is just to kind of talk about like the aesthetic and my first impressions and what stood out to me and, and why I would find it useful. If this is your first time on this channel, welcome. My name is Ashley and I make new videos every single week on all things fitness, lots of reviews and lots of Gymshark. So, so definitely subscribe, hit that bell baby so you don't be missing out. All right guys, look at this Mama Luke. Look at this. I don't know, lately Gymshark's been giving me the big cardboard box. I think I have a uh, problem. <laughs> so guys, again, this is a first impression, like my immediate what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling about these collections and pieces. Definitely expect a full review on the training leggings, the training bras that you're about to see, and the combat collection. So those are at least three solid detailed review videos coming your way. All right guys, let's start with the training collection, shall we? Because that's what I got the most of in this haul. So we have the high impact sports bra in Dusky Sage. Oh, you're gorgeous and uh, I freaking love you. This is totally high impact, you can feel it. All right, you don't have removable padding, it's kind of stiff but when you wear it, it feels really nice and supportive. You got that high impact, girl. I chose this color because uh, your girl likes that like sage green. Right, it compliments my skin. That's just me though, that's what I feel. I really like that breakup of mesh in between and I really love the feeling of a high neckline. Okay, I either like low cut, showing off the girls a little bit, or high. Not a big fan of in between sports bras. So you fit what I love in a sports bra, that sexy high neck. And what makes it sexy is that freaking mesh. But it's still super conservative because it's not a completely see-through mesh, okay? It doesn't go all the way through. You have like another material underneath. So it's like a semi-conservative sexiness, if that makes sense. We got another training sports bra. This one is the medium to high impact in sunset pink. Ooh. So it's not baby pink, and it's not a vibrant neon pink. It's that perfect medium. Sunset's a good one. I, let, I agree with that. You can feel the difference in the sports bra. Okay, the other one was much stiffer. For the high impact, this one's a little more loosey, goosey. I like the backing of this. Again, you have like that see-through-ish mesh. Really digging that design, a little racer back. Very uh, adorable, nice bra with that little seamed contour in the front, kind of divvying it up. So, very beautiful color, and I'm not usually a pink person. I'm really not. But this pink, and this is like the warm summer vibes. So this is a medium to high, and I noticed that there are like high impact bras, don't have removable padding. They still have like the padding itself, the molded in there, but it's not removable. It's like almost like stitched in, so that must be why it's high impact. You move and it ain't going anywhere. All right guys, so this is the low to medium impact training. This kind of bra is more for like my speed, I feel, right? A girl with like smaller hoo-hahs, right? Who just wants to like stretch and move and not really do anything crazy like intense hit. This is in the color blue stone and this is freaking beautiful. This actually might go perfectly with my new studio leggings. It's got like that cinch and it really makes the girls pop. It's insane. It's a super like just crisscrossy strap in the back. And I like the simplicity of this sports bra and I like how lightweight it is. So we got another training bra in the same sunset pink that you saw before. This is a medium impact. All right, I know a lot of people have like this thing against front zippers on sports bras, but I freaking love it. I don't know. Cause then you could choose if you want to be sexy. You could down just a little bit, you know, a little peekaboo. Or you could just be super conservative and just have it all the way up. Really nice backing. You got like that full on keyhole look, crisscrossy straps, a bunch of everything going on back there. This is medium impact and it does have removable bra inserts. Okay, so that's the trend that the high impact, not removable. Medium to low, removable. All right guys, so we have a high impact training bra in black. I'm gonna note that everything in this, actually every single thing you're about to see today is in a size small. That's my size, I have my measurements down below and everything is true to size. 
yay. <laughs> so high impact, not removable bra padding. You can feel that stiffness, girl. The high impact bras I notice have the feeling of almost like as if there's a harder underwire here, but there's no wire, it's bendy. It's still bendy and flexible, but it's got that feeling. So you got some extra, I don't even know what's in here. What are they doing? What do they got in there? It's something. But this baby, black, go with anything. Mix and match, hello. Got that little peekaboo border mesh up at the neckline, okay. You wanna be sexy during high impact? This one, the high impacts, what I'm liking is that they got the like bra clips in the back here and all the adjustments. So the band you can adjust and then you can have this adjusted as well on the top, okay? So it's all around a very adjustable sports bra. All right guys, so we are looking at the training crop top in powder red. Love this color because it's not that stark like sharp fire engine bright red. It has that like kind of lighter tone to it that I like, almost an orangey look. That's important, all right? You want your tan to pop in the summer, right? So anyways, I really like how breathable this is, okay? The sleeves are kind of like drop sleeves, so if you sweat, it's all good. You got the mesh backing here. Woo! So it's all breathable, lightweight, buttery soft. I'm obsessing over this. It's got more of a boxy crop fit, okay? It doesn't, it's not the baby doll where it like tucks in, accentuates your curves. It's got that loose, carefree kind of vibe. Just throw it on over a set, the minimal logo. Oh girl, it's looking so good. Um, okay, Gymshark be coming out with the white colors. And your girl, mm -hmm. training cropped sweater in white. Absolutely. So it's like a crew neck. Ooh. I am loving the training like crops because they tend to have that high to low look. From the lateral view, it like goes, a little up in the front and then it kind of goes down in the back. I love that look, it's beautiful. So this is like a lightweight sweater. It's not heavy at all. It's not buttery soft, but it's like, ooh, it's just, it's such a nice light like summer sweater. Really digging the breakup of texture, all right? They have ribbed straight down, a straight ribbed panel into the cuffed ribbed wrists. So all around, this is just like absolutely gorgeous. It's just all white with a pop of black, like Jim Jar. Yeah, love it, man. Oh. Speaking of sweaters slash hoodies, again, this is the training as well. The cropped hoodie in Neo Lime. Do I need to tell you why I got this color? I don't think I do. Neo Lime, summertime. Oh, with the white lettering. It's like they, they made it for me and they knew I liked it. So first impression, this hoodie is actually soft inside. It's one of those materials that are gonna make you kind of warm up a little bit, right? So you want, might wanna wear this on like a colder summer night. Same idea as the cropped sweater. You have the breakup of the rib paneling. So really love little details like that. Just like the other two crops, it comes more of like the boxy look, all right? Got that little boxy cut to it dope. The one and only problem I have with this, which isn't even that big of a problem, but it's kind of is to me, is that the hood is a little bit heavy. It's a little bit heavy. So like this part right here kind of comes, brushes up against the neck, kind of chokes you out slightly, nothing crazy, but it's just enough for me to want to constantly like kind of pull it down a little bit. But if I walk, it's just going to keep falling back. So uh, that's something to note. Their hoods are always heavy. Anybody else feel that? You know, every single time I got anything, their slouch, even with the hood, it's like falling back on me. I don't know. Oh yeah, baby, we're continuing on with the training. Don't think we're not. Training crop long sleeve top. Again, in sunset pink. Woo. So what makes this long sleeve different than the sweater? Okay, a couple things. This is buttery soft, like second skin, lightweight feel. And it actually folds differently. Whereas the other crops have more of a boxy fit, this one actually has like a baby doll fit around your rib cage. So it kind of sucks you in a little bit. It's just kind of, uh, 
but it's not tight. It's still got that slight looseness to it, all right? It's not a skin tight crop top. And it's different enough than the others to keep the collection interesting. So I like that. I like that they made each one different. You do have the breakup of mesh on the top here. There's no ribbed like the other crops. So this is unique. It's just a, a piece of its own. All right, guys, moving on to the training shorts that I got. This is a little daring, but I got the training short shorts in the color claret. Claret? Claret? Mm, I don't know. But it's like a nice burgundy color, and I really like the way that the Gymshark logo is on here. They kind of, with all the training bottoms, they have it vertically written kind of on the hip bone here. It feels nice. It's like silky, like grippy, elevated, 3D. Nice high waist. It's seamed but it's not annoying. It actually feels actually super seamless, which I respect and love that. Thank you. <laughs> they are short. They are short shorts, baby. Who has short shorts? Apparently I do now. It is 100% squat proof, all right? I squatted right into that daylight and it's good to go. The comfort level on these are out of this world. Right here, right now, between you and me, the training collection when it comes to bottoms the leggings and shorts are to die for they are buttery as buttery soft as buttery soft gets second skin yes like lululemon all right i had somebody ask if they were like them now that i got to try them out myself they are so the second pair of shorts i got are the regular training shorts so these are a little bit longer this is in the sunset pink again a little bit longer this is definitely more of my taste because i don't really feel comfortable with short shorts but that's just me and i don't typically wear them so this time I feel better just bending over in general. It won't like come up my tush as much. A little more conservative, same thing, just longer. The only problem I have with these off the bat, I just feel like it's a little bit tight on my thigh. It just kind of restricts a little bit. And then my thigh fat just kind of like comes up out of the, you know what I mean, girl? So that's my only issue is that it's a little bit tight in that region. Whereas the short shorts were not tight at all. But again, it's a first impression. Gotta break them in a little bit. So wait for the review. See if anything changes. All right, guys, we are moving on to the training leggings now. This is their cropped leggings in black and identical to the shorts. So it's the same material and everything, but I gotta say, these cropped, I'm five foot three. These are super cropped. Like they come right below my knee type of crop. They're almost like extra, extra long biker shorts. Just that's for me though. So if you're an extreme shorty, like shorter than five, three, these are pretty dope. <laughs> Don't even look or think about it if you're over five, three. <laughs> Again, all these leggings are squat proof. So I'm freaking loving the training collection leggings. Awesome, awesome. My first impression of the training leggings are that they are super duper softer than the Vital Seamless. And that's saying something, because I always thought the Vital Seamless was like, ooh, that's so nice. These are softer. Okay, now we're moving on to the 7 8 legging. This length is perfect for my five foot three bum. This is my everything when it comes, this is the perfect length legging, seven slash eight. Thank you, Gymshark, thank you. Because sometimes the crop's too short, but the full length's way too long. So, awesome that they came out with this kind of legging. Training, damn, this collection's dope. And this dusky freaking sage again, girl, I'm just, mm-hmm, these are keepers. And the last one I had to, because I'm doing a full review again, so I had to get one of each legging so that I'm gonna compare them in the full review. These are the full lengths right here. This is in the color Intense Steel Blue very beautiful bluish purple color Ooh, almost like lavender i would probably call it lavender but yes super long full length but it's long on me but not some but for me it is <laughs> but again identical to the other leggings soft and just beautiful okay guys so let's take a quick intermission from the collections and just look at some miscellaneous i got that i had to get oh girl i had to get the blue marl vital seamless set Big Vital Seamless fan right here. And the blue marl is, it's just gorgeous. It's, it's like a, a bright aqua-y blue color. I feel like I could just, I wanna swim in the ocean with this set. I love the Vital, nothing to say, except it's just, it's my set. Same exact fit as the Vital pretty much has always been, just the new color, and I'm really loving this new color. I wanna get my hands on the coral marl too. Just wasn't in my size but can't wait to break this out in the summertime. This is a summer color, yeah. 
All right, guys, next, you already know, if you've been watching me for a while, that my number one choice when it comes to my preferred Gymshark legging is, and probably always will be, the camo seamless. Had to get the light green. I had my eye on this for the longest freaking time, and I finally got it. This light green is not totally green. <laughs> it's actually like green mixed with blue when you see it in person. Yeah, I just, uh, it's like beach vibes, all right? This is a bright, sunny summer day when I'm just feeling optimistic and, uh, I love the camo, the scrunch, but is life. So I, I gotta get all the other colors, all right? I gotta get the pink one now. But they've been selling out like hotcakes. In fact, I couldn't even get the matching sports bra because it wasn't in my size. They sold out on that. So, uh, Gymshark restock. <laughs> Okay guys, so it's summer coming up and the fact that I've been absolutely loving Gymshark's new release swimwears, figured I'd take my chance on this one and uh, got their Horizon Mesh bikini. There's Gymshark written all over this baby, okay? If you want to tell the world you love Gymshark on the beach, this is what you need to wear. <laughs> so this is like the high-waisted, their cuts are perfect from my bum. They're not overly showy on the bum, but they're not overly conservative where you're like, I'm like 80 years old. So it's like a nice happy medium. There's no like extra baggage on the tush either, that diaper feel, I hate that. So this is like such a perfect like high waist vintage cut, the breakup of mesh in between. And then you got almost like this like, this this boxer looking, you know, like that, that logo. It's very like you're wearing underwear. <laughs> The one thing I thought I wouldn't like, but when wearing it wasn't too bad, I guess, not too, too bad, was the grip liner. Wasn't expecting that when buying it, but there's a gripped freaking liner in this set, even the bra. So, you know, it's like, oh, it's everywhere. The whole thing is a gripped liner around the entire border of this whole top. But overall, this set is so freaking beautiful and it gives such a nice, like, illusion to your body. The way it's cut is absolutely beautiful. Girl, we're moving on to that combat collection oh girl i got a lot to say about this one combat long sleeve top first of all i just want to state their combat collection like logos are really cool they got the hollow lettering on them that's what stood out to me like that this i don't know why i got it in white i'm gonna regret it <laughs> it's interesting the way they designed this number one you have a mesh armpit so when you sweat you can get some oxygen to those pits. I appreciate that. What's interesting is the sleeve part is the tightest. It's got compressive sleeves, in my opinion. Then right at the middle, the chest area and neckline, it's got that, it's got medium. It lets up a little bit. But then once you hit the bottom here, it's loose. But it's extremely flattering and it actually gives me, who has no hourglass shape, an hourglass shape. So from the front, it's like, it's a complete, like, complete hourglass. The way they designed this was really, really, like, different. I also got their combat joggers. These are just pretty simple overall, just black joggers. I always tend to go with the darker colors because they'll go with anything. So it's got that, like, loose fit. It's like baggy sweatpants. It's actually almost like the ones I'm wearing right now. Wow. <laughs> I'm weird when it comes to Gymshark's joggers. They don't typically like look flattering on my body shape, but these ones aren't too bad, all right? I wouldn't say they're like, wow, but they're not like, I've definitely had, you know, worse. <laughs> okay guys, this is like nothing I've seen from Gymshark. This is their combat pullover in smoky gray marl. Ooh, you have like a nice ribbed band on the bottom to keep it really nice and tight up against you so that you could see those, that, that, that nice little shape you got, girl. But it, everything else about it is super baggy. It's like Rocky style. I like it, it's badass. You have the severe drop sleeve. It's almost, the entire thing is almost a drop sleeve. You see how, yeah. <laughs> it's got a hood and it's a little bit heavy, no problem. You also have like this big pocket in the front. So it's almost like, just like a cropped hoodie. The signature combat look it's looking like is like this like, gritty, ruggedy texture on it. I can't even explain what it is, and I have no idea. But it's different, and I've never seen it on Gymshark. So this is something I would like to just throw over set, but it's still super breathable. I can run in this and be all good. All right, guys, so got the combat shorts here. These are kind of like uh, a little shorter than biker shorts, but really love it, super opaque. These are something that I would like to just 
do anything in really and just feel nice and secure. It's got a nice fitting around the thighs, which I like, because a lot of shorts just like push in and it's not too flattering. But this one's overall super flattering and the contoured seams on the back are nice too to kind of pucker up that tushy. It has a grip band inside, but it's not too annoying. I gotta give it that. I think they're working on that band. Feels okay. What I'm noticing about the Combat Collection is their little logo. It's like a patch that's stitched on with just the shark face. So okay guys, so now we're moving on to the Combat Tank in black. I got them to match the shorts. So this is a very boxy look and it's held together. The, both the front and the back are held together by like two strings. So it's kind of cool looking. It's, it's completely breathable. Like the side of you is completely open. So you gotta wear obviously something underneath. The overall look of this, I really like the hollow lettering. Dope. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but like from the side, I feel like it looks like I'm wearing a bib. <laughs> I don't know. That's just me. It just looks like two flaps hanging. But uh, hey, that might be somebody's like vibe and think like that's cool. But for me, I don't know. I don't think it would be too practical. I feel like it's something I could do without. But it's cool because I like sampling. This is why I like trying everything out here. Okay, guys. Very, very last thing we got going on here in this haul is the combat leggings and the combat sports bra. This is in their color Claret, which is the burgundy color. And the sports bra is very low impact, I can tell. You know, you got that strappiness. It's not adjustable. It's like a one size and it better fit you. It is true to size though, so I like that. Again, with that like gritty look. In some lighting, it could look shiny, but it's got that like matte grip look. I, I dig their, their unique design. Um, but the sports bra in general kind of didn't do a whole lot for me in, in terms of like being flattering or anything. The leggings are the same. The set's not buttery soft. It's not second skin like the training. I mean, it's, it's soft, but it's not the material I prefer. So you got the leggings that match the whole design here. You got the grip liner. They're bringing that back. Again, the patch logo on the back here. Uh, it's just not the most flattering set in my opinion for my body. I just didn't feel like I've, I've definitely had better from Gymshark, like the training. <laughs> so again, these are the cropped leggings and they came up really cropped on me, five foot three. So keep that in mind, but it is squat proof. So you got to give it that. All right, guys, that was it. That was the full Gymshark haul, the new releases, all reviews to come on all the collections you saw today. So if you're not already, subscribe and hit that notification bell, all right? You don't want to miss out. Good stuff coming your way. New videos on all things fitness every single week because together we got this. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.